Hey guys, Meowda Man here. Today I'm going to show you what a short nose crankshaft motor looks like. This here is a 1990 motor. This came out of a 1990 Mazda MX-5 Miata. And the way you can tell it has a short nose crankshaft in it is that bolt there. It's quite small and it doesn't have a big flange or a big shoulder on it. The other way you can easily spot a short nose is by the crank pulley. So we've got four slots in that crank pulley. If this was a long nose crank motor, uh, so after 1991, about halfway through uh, 1991, they changed from this to the long nose and then carried that through with the 1.6 until 1993. So that doesn't mean that your car has one or the other because a lot of these cars have had a motor swap over the years from things going bad. So even if you've got a car that should have a long nose, if it's had a swap, it may have a short nose in it. So, uh, so watch out for that. Be on the lookout. That is the short nose crank pulley. The long nose one will have, instead of having four of these big slots, it'll have eight smaller slots in it and it'll have a much bigger crank bolt. And if you want to know the difference, that is the difference right there. So on the left, we have the much larger long nose crank bolt. And on the right, we have the short nose crank bolt. And as you can tell, there's a huge difference there. So if you have a look down this way, you can see the girth of the long nose compared to the short nose. We also, oops, I'll put them side by side for you. There you go, way longer. The head on this thing's huge, and that's the head of the short nose. So it's not the end of the world if you have a short nose motor, okay? It's probably fine, so long as nobody has screwed up the timing belt job or abused the car in a heavy way. Um, a lot of the failures of the short nose motors were due to timing belts being done incorrectly and the woodruff key being inserted wrong, or in the wrong orientation, and also people not torquing the crank bolt correctly as well. So don't freak out if you have a short nose motor. There's lots of good short nose motors out there. Um, but if you're buying a Miata or if you've got one and you're not sure, that's how you know the difference. And uh, just be on the lookout for that. If you go to a shop that maybe isn't familiar with working on Miatas and you get your timing belt done, or if you're doing it yourself, make sure you look and learn and find out what you need to do to get the job done properly. There you go, guys. I hope that's helpful to you. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, in the comments, if you want to ask any questions, please go ahead. Thanks, guys.